you're going to learn three weird signs that your manifestation is on its way to you. When you begin trying to manifest things in your life, you might get impatient and feel like nothing is happening, but this isn't true. When you act and visualize as if your wish is already fulfilled with that deep feeling, it will come to pass. Just because it takes time doesn't mean the process isn't working. So the first weird sign from the universe that your manifestation is on its way is seeing certain numbers and signs or symbols. When you begin noticing repeating numbers like 11, 22, 33, 11, 11, 444, 333, or other triple versions. These are master numbers that are telling you you've been heard and action is being taken on your behalf. You'll see these numbers on license plates, on TVs or devices, numbers on posts on your social media accounts, or timing of meetings, or grocery slip totals. They start showing up in uncanny ways over and over again. When it starts happening, this is a sign to stop and take notice. Let's say you're manifesting a new car. You're also going to start seeing that exact car everywhere in the same color, make and model on the road, even when you're not thinking about it. It's getting closer to you. Consider what you're working to manifest and enjoy the feeling of gratitude by acknowledging that God, the universe, angels, however you believe, have heard you and are in the process of helping you because of your thoughts, meditations, and practice that you're actively doing to send the right signals with the right level of emotional impression. The step of allowing acknowledgement into your psyche will also help accelerate the process. The universe is made up of geometry and numbers and it's a fascinating subject. So when you begin to see master numbers or images of your manifestation on your path, you've been confirmed that what you're working on is coming and it's a confirmation. Now stick with me on the next story on how manifesting goes wrong with the very same power. Because to know the opposite and how not to do something can be equally as powerful in learning how to do something, wouldn't you agree? Hi, I'm Kate Wilder, and if you're new here, I'm a mindset coach in reinventing yourself using the power of manifestation and other self-improvement tools that I've personally used for a long time. And if you found me, it's no accident, there is something here for you in this video that you can put to work in your life right away. The second unusual thing that you'll notice when your manifestation is underway is things will begin being removed from your life that no longer align with your new leveling up plan. To manifest, you need to make space for the new. And if you don't do it yourself, the universe will assist you and do it for you. <laughs> I've had this happen too. It might, it might seem counterintuitive, but it really makes a little bit of sense when you think about it this way. If you're manifesting a new car, you need to let go of the old one to make space for the new one, right? Okay. If you strongly resist letting go when it's time, something might happen like an accident to remove the old car. This might sound extreme, but it actually recently happened to someone close to me. She was broadsided from a red light runner out of nowhere. Her car was totaled and she was forced to move on to her next higher level. If you want a better partner in life, you need to let go of a current one. The sooner you can accept change, the easier it becomes to manifest something new. When you resist, things can happen in ways that you don't like, and it can also take longer to reach your goal. Since our inner thoughts infused with strong feelings shape our outer reality, paying attention to how you react as things unfold is equally as important as an event itself. As hard as it is, try to avoid negative reactions when something bad does happen and try to quickly shift your perspective to see this as part of your process, if it is. Come back to focus on your desire and visualize it even stronger with feeling and return to your manifestation practice using the method of choice for that goal. The third weird thing that you may encounter when your manifestation is significantly in process, especially in relation to leveling up financially with money, is the experience of unexpected setbacks. You may be comfortable at your current financial level, but then a sudden bill, repair, or loss of a business contract might occur. I can prove to you the power of manifesting negatively right now and hopefully save you from the same kind of challenge. Here's a story. A big change happened in my life recently in my marketing business. It's as though deep in my soul was arranging events behind my back that I wasn't aware of at the time for over a year. And I ended up creating an abrupt negative event to force a change, unbeknownst to me. Deep down, I was feeling that great sense of yearning that I've had several significant points in my life before. It's a yearning for something more. 
as though my soul was calling out to me again, telling me that, hey, you're off track, you need to return to yourself and your original purpose. Deep down, my subconscious thoughts grew, and with it, so did the strength of my underlying feelings about this. But I wasn't paying close enough attention until one day, the universe got my attention. It yanked away my largest client and essentially almost my entire income by making this person literally disappear off the planet from my life. A person who was in my daily life for 10 years. It was abrupt. I had not made the conscious decision to leave the marketing for this company or my business, but deep within, I was apparently sending a stronger and stronger signal over a long period of time that my thoughts gained more infusion with strong feelings that I wanted out or at least in the way that it was going at that time. This is the power of manifesting, my friends. It works in both ways, positive and negative, and you're doing it all the time, and so am I. See, I was off track from my conscious manifesting processes that I normally do. I'd taken a break and got lazy in my thinking and even my goals. It took me a couple months of mental anguish when this happened to connect the dots and realize I had created that. But as soon as I owned it, my next steps began unfolding. And this is what I mean by getting back to positivity as fast as you can when something happens, because we're our own worst enemies with this power. The minute I accepted the fact, the ideas and new inspiration began coming. So even in that process, however, I was still in some resistance for a bit. It had taken longer than it could have to move through this. So through this process, though, of resetting my mindset to consciously come back to manifesting again to create my life the way I want it to be. A few months of inner work led me back to my original life purpose I was doing over 25 years ago. I didn't plan on that. The revelations that came up from my subconscious mind gave me the courage to step back into speaking, inspiration, motivational topics, and included my more former manifesting work but this time teaching with updated technology in the form of, a, of this podcast on Spotify, Apple channels, plus YouTube. Big changes like losing a significant income source can lead one to return to oneself or get a new revelation that leads you in an entirely new direction. To me, there's no greater gift than being able to do what you love and your inner being knows it's right for you. This is the power of the law of attraction, the law of assumption, and other manifesting techniques. When you use this deliberately in your life, you'll start to know that it's working for you in both good and bad ways. How you respond to each of these challenges determines how quickly and far that you progress. Now, in that case, if I'd have stayed stuck in victim mentality saying, why me, poor me, for too long, I wouldn't have reinvented my life and I might have been stuck for a long time. I finally snapped out of it and got to work, but only because of that abrupt change. When you're manifesting money, a new career, a life purpose, you need to become a match with that higher vibration, focusing in the now as though your thing is already here. This is how you do it. Low vibrational states of mind create in the outer world just as strongly as positive ones. That's why fear is so powerful. This often involves facing challenges and growing through them as most people don't change unless they're pushed to do so, right? But you have the choice to do it before things happen. That's why difficult situations arise, and some of them can be avoided too. Now, not natural disasters and things like that, but we're talking about what you do afterwards, how you rebuild, and what you do. When you act and visualize as if your wish is already fulfilled with that deep, infused feeling, it must come to pass. In the next video, see more steps to manifest and i'm going to tell you a couple of more ways besides these three ways that your manifestation is on its way to you double check that you've subscribed so youtube keeps me in your feed with that notification bell also sign in the pinned comment sign up for my pre-notification on my manifesting course i'll let you know when that comes out and give you a sneak preview before it hits the public happy manifesting everybody stay tuned for the next episode